hi everyone thank you for tuning in to this recipe i am sharing with you how to make the perfect donuts in a bowl i'll add sifted flour sugar powder milk i'm using instant yeast it doesn't need to be proof before use salt the salt should not have direct contact with the yeast mix the dry ingredients together add eggs room temperature butter warm water mix until a dough is formed I'll remove the spatula and work with my hands. I'll transfer the dough to a work surface and knead it for at least 15 minutes until the dough becomes smooth and elastic. To know if the dough is well kneaded, cut a little bit of it and gently stretch it. If it doesn't tear, that means the dough is well kneaded. I'll add a little bit of oil in the bowl and oil the bowl. Put the dough. Cover and leave it in a warm place to rise for one hour until it doubles in size. One hour later, the dough has doubled in size. Punch to remove air from the dough. I'll flour the work surface. Place the dough on it. And flatten the dough. The dough shouldn't be too thick and it shouldn't be too flat. I'll use a donut cutter to cut the dough. If you don't have a donut cutter, use a cup to cut the dough. Use something small to cut the donut hole. I'll cut more donut holes. I'll remove the extra dough, re-roll and cut it.
I'll flower the train. Transfer the cut dough on the train. Cover and leave the dough to rise for 40 minutes. Next, add some oil in a pan and start heating it up. Forty minutes later, the doughs are ready for frying. I'll fry them on medium heat. If the oil gets too hot, reduce the temperature. When they are fried on one side, flip them to the other side to fry. When the donuts are ready, I'll remove them from the hot oil, transfer to a train that is lined with paper towel to take out any excess oil from the fried donut. I'll repeat this process with the rest of the donuts. Add the donut holes in the oil and fry it. Turn them so they can fry nicely. When the donut holes are golden brown, they are ready. Remove them from the hot oil. Transfer to a strainer to take out any excess oil from the donut holes. The donuts are ready. I'll be coating it in sugar. Add sugar on the donut holes. And mix together. The donut was very soft and fluffy and they tasted so delicious. Hope you give it a try. Thank you all so much for watching. Remain blessed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!